Hey, what's up folks? Today I'm going to show you how to get infinite XP in Fallout New Vegas. Anyways, you want to be by this Eldorado gas station. Um, this is where you're going to want to start. If you're doing this the same way I am, I'm a low level. And I'm going to show you how to infantize your experience points. I personally don't like doing this. I feel it takes away from the gameplay. Um, but yeah, you can do this glitch um, to reach level 50 if you have the updates or level 30 if you don't have any of the DLC. So basically you want to cross the Eldorado um, lake. And then you're going to find a Vault um, 11. And uh, I have this sped up a little bit, but um, I still feel it would help you. Um, I don't know if I took the most direct route to the place where you need to go, but I felt that um, that I did a good job because um, I didn't know fully where to go, but I figured it out. Please uh, just follow me as best as possible, or if you feel you can explore the vault on your own. When doing this, I'm only like level five or four something like that I might even be a level three I just um, literally just restarted to show you guys this glitch real quick um, I, I during this playthrough I do not have the uh, DLC that makes me a level 50 or allows you me to level up to level 50 there's me reaching level five um, so as you can see I'm, uh, I'm new but I'm gonna reach level 30 and it's a matter of seconds as soon as we get to that part so I'm gonna quit the commentary and you can just continue to watch me um, play my way through vault 11 Hey, so anyways, I'm back. Um, you will be looking for the overseer's um, office, and you're going to head down to that um, door. And basically, this is the overseer's office. Um, there's not much in there besides a rigged uh, shotgun on your left, so watch out for that. But besides that, there's nothing in there. What you're going to do is you're going to want to come down here, take a right. That room like has a gasoline leak in it or, leak or something in it, so do not fire a bullet in there. Everything blows up. You can either go straight and go around or go underneath the water there like I did and go around. Um, uh, I think probably the other way would be easier, um, just because I don't think there's any giant rats that way. Anyways, um, you're going to notice pretty quickly that the main route to the auditorium, I think it is, is blocked off. So you're going to have to go around um, in this underneath part right here. And uh, I slowed this down here to show you guys something. Um, this is normal speed, actually. So, Anyways, open up the ammunition boxes here on the right, and one of them has a st stealth boy. And if you are low level and don't have very good weapons, um, you're going to want to take the stealth boy. Like, um, uh, that gun is a, you know, it's a good weapon, but um, for what you're going to have to fight later on, it's not going to be very effective against in the position you are in. Well, you just keep playing your way through the vault. You're going to come to this part where there's, like, water, and you're going to have to open up the doors and swim back up. And then the second to last door, you'll have barely enough time to reach the surface without losing health. Um, anyways, uh, here I save because one of these rooms has a gasoline link in it, but I did not find that room. Um, so just be, watch out for that. Um, just be careful. Maybe save a couple times in this area because uh, there's a couple rooms where it's definitely going to blow up if you shoot your gun. And um, the, there's nothing in there, but if you go up these staircase, you're going to find this computer. And you want to read this speech real quick, and you're going to get the Vault 11 Overseer's Terminal Password. And this password is the key to completing some quest. I don't know what the name of the quest is. I apologize, but it starts in Vault 11. Um, it's just like a mini quest or something. But it gives you tons of XP, and it, you can empathize it. So anyways, you're going to make your way back to the Overseer's office. And you're going to use this terminal, and you're going to hit open sacrifice, a sacrificial uh, chamber. Open up these doors. I'll go to the end, walk into this bright light thing. Um, then you'll come to this room. Uh, the door behind you will close, sit in the chair, get out of the chair, and just kind of um, crouch in this corner. Uh, anyways, um, wait for some of the speech to go through. Um, yeah, <laughs> you got, um, he just says some stuff about uh, the... But um, just wait for like um, a couple, a little bit, and then you're going to want to save um, your game, like you see me doing here. And once you have saved, you're going to go to the Xbox 360 dashboard. Yes. Um. Then at, once you are at the 360 dashboard, you're going to want over. You're going to want to scroll over to settings. So once you are over at settings, you're going to want to go to system, uh, storage. Once that loads up, you're going to want to go to 
back. I, I don't know what I did there. Anyways, you're going to go to storage, hard drive. You're going to go to games and profiles. You're going to want to go to your Fallout New Vegas. Um, as you can see, I hardly have anything for this one on this hard drive. Anyways, you're going to delete this new Fallout New Vegas uh, update, title update 5. And then you're going to want to head back to your um, home and start up Fallout New Vegas. Anyways, once you have done that, you will probably have seen this message before, an update is required, but you're going to want to hit cancel and not download it. You will not be able to be connected to Xbox Live while performing this very, very short glitch, but hey, if you want to reach level 30 or level 50 extremely quickly, yeah, it's probably worth it. But personally, like I said before, um, I don't really like to do this kind of stuff, uh, this leveling. I don't mind like doing getting caps and stuff because that just helps you. But just leveling up all the way, I just don't agree with it. I'm just doing this because I've gotten a couple requests to do it after my successful cap video. So I decided, yeah, it's not actually a bad idea. So um, anyways, when you do this, you're going to get this message saying this game relies on content from an update. Anyways, just hit, just ignore that. Um, it won't affect you unless you have a gun from an update, I guess, and it might affect you. But anyways, um, once he, he gets like in some part of his speech, like towards the end, he starts like talking about um just like I don't know what he, what he, he talks about like um going to the afterlife or something like that. I mean, when he says around when he says afterlife, we're gonna go ahead and use that stealth boy you got. I've got two stealth boys. Um one I found in the vault and one I had um I think I got it in uh, Good Springs because I was you know preparing for this. Anyways, oh no, I got off of um oh what's his name. The guy, the Power Ganger, um, the leader of the Power Gangers, Cobber, or something like that. Anyways, if you kill him, he has a uh, stealth boy on him. So, um, that's just a little tip, I guess. Anyways, um, so there's one of my stealth boys. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Once he gets to a certain part, like the afterlife part or something like that. Then after this, the uh, doors are going to open up and there's going to be like tons of robots and depending on your level I believe it varies because I think when I did this there were sentry bots um but there weren't sentry bots this time and I think when I did this before um I was like a level 40 or something going in here and I think that you know that may change the enemies but I swore there were sentry bots when I did this I don't know maybe I'm just um hallucinating <laughs> but anyways you want to open up this door um just keep crouched um I, I close the door and then I activate the vault 11 terminal and then this automated response, just keep clicking that, and it'll give you like 500 XP every time. And just keep clicking until you're level 30, but um, do not back out, or else the the option will disappear. So just keep clicking A on this option, the automated response, Vault 11 uh, solution. And you will level up to level 30, or level 50 if you want, if you want to go that far. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and uh, this next part of the video which is um, right here. I'm just showing you how I got out because they saw me. So um, you don't have to watch this. You can probably get out fine, but I'm just showing you how I did it because um, they saw me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps you out in some way. Anyways, check out my YouTube channel for more videos, and please like, comment, and subscribe.